Hello and welcome to the show that takes you on a magical journey to the special places in Korea. This is Travel Story. And I'm Jesse Day. Hi, I'm Sammy. As always, we are joined by our special travel mentor. Please welcome Henny. Hello, Henny. Hi, how are you doing? Awesome. I'm good. Could you tell us a bit more about yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Henny Savane. I've been in Korea already for a long time. Uh, most of the times, even longer than my students. I've done many things. I work in a university, of course. I work in Hyapsong University in Suwon. I have many hobbies. I have many interests. Actually, too many hobbies and too many interests. Uh -huh. But I enjoy my life. Well, thank you so much for being on our show as our travel mentor. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're very happy to have you. <laughs> and with that said, let's look at today's theme on Travel Story, which is healing trip. That's right. Now, Professor, in addition to, to teaching English, I hear that you're also teaching psychology. Right. Now, these days, healing has become quite a trend in Korea. Mm -hmm. What would you attribute that to, and how would you maybe describe that from a psychological standpoint? Well, basically, healing means that you come to terms with the past. I mean, traveling can be a way to come to terms with the past. You look up the things you could not do or you want to do. Right. And if you meet the right people, then it comes to, yeah, it comes up like a, a pleasant way of living. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what it basically is. Um, I don't think there is any psychological term for that, but um, basically if you have uh, a psychological conversation, it's also about coming to terms with your past. Right. So in this way, traveling or is a kind of healing mm -hmm. uh, as well. Yeah. yeah, even when I converse with my friends, I like to say, oh, let's go take this healing trip to somewhere over the right. weekends or something like that. And today's subject on our travel story is also going on a healing journey. Let's find out why and follow along with Cherish. I am a musical actress. My heart beats the fastest when I'm on stage under the bright spotlight. My voice, my glances, my heartbeats are felt by the audience. When I become one with them, I feel alive. Mommy, 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 ma. I traveled all over Korea for two years, acting the part of the heroine in the original musical, Arirang Fantasy. The musical is about the conflict and reconciliation between a woman and her mother-in-law in a multicultural family. I played the part of the Filipino daughter-in-law. to be on stage, not as an actress playing a foreigner, but just as an actress. Wow, so we're meeting a musical diva here. Yeah, she seems talented. Yes, well, Cherish came to Korea seven years ago um, on an art scholarship from Korea's Ministry of Culture, Tourism and Sports. Mm -hmm. And when she first came to Korea, she uh, wanted to become director in theater, but then she ended up becoming a musical Actress. I know, uh, Henny, your second job is acting. Right. How did you first get into acting? To make a long story short, at a certain moment in a documentary, they were looking for Dutch people. Mm -hmm. And they came to the embassy on Queen's Day. There was always a celebration at that time. And they approached several people if they wanted to act in the, in the drama. And so I said, yes, why not? It's fun. Mm -hmm. And I enjoyed it. And somehow agents started to get hold of my name and telephone number, and from there on it rolled more or less automatically. 
Awesome. So it was not like a planned career. It was something which came up. Right. Mm. So you didn't seek out acting. Acting sought out you. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's so let right. me ask you, what are some of the more interesting roles that you've played? Well, the more interesting roles, maybe the professor. I was at uh, Beethoven Virus. Oh, okay. And um, I had to act in German. Uh, some other interesting things were maybe, yeah, I've been president of the America several times, <laughs> oh. <laughs> several presidents actually, That's great. Uh -huh. uh, CEO of companies, and I've been a doctor uh, in, on other occasions with a lot of script. Mm -hmm. Well, the most interesting, yeah, I think, I still think that was the professor in uh, Beethoven Virus with mm -hmm. Kim Young-Suji. Cool. Do, you, do you have fun when you're acting? Yes, very much. Uh -huh. I, I really enjoy it. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's so attractive about acting? Well, the, maybe not the acting itself. Yeah, of course I enjoy that too. But it's especially the people around you. Mm. Working with the crew, working with the actors. It's just enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Cherish is becoming or wants to become a musical actress, which means not only acting, but being able to sing and dance as well. She is waiting for the day when she will become a musical diva in Korea, so let's continue to follow along on her journey. Seoul, a city with a population of 10 million. The neighborhood that gets the most foot traffic is Myeongdong. It is full of life, full of people devouring the latest fashions and the vibrant energy. Myeongdong is also a hot destination for foreign tourists. As it is a shopping paradise lined with cosmetics and fashion brand stores. But today, I'm here for a more somber purpose. In November, the Philippines was hit by Typhoon Haiyan. The super typhoon moving at 379 kilometers per hour destroyed everything in its path. This is like just a small way that I can contribute my, my talents for, for the community and for the Philippines because I'm a Filipino. I don't have a lot of money, but I can, I can you know, like, like give my talents for, for the Philippines. So this is the only thing we can do. It's a very small work, but you know, everyone's like very industrious. We're, we're very hardworking right now. So we can, you know, we can help in our own small way. So um, we're gonna we're gonna start our mini concert right now. So if you please can come and you know let's watch our mini concert. And if you have a bit of like um, some stuff that you can give or some, a, a small amount that you can give for the for the victims of the typhoon in the Philippines, please uh, please do so. Okay. of Filipino students in Korea decided to raise money for the victims of Haiyan by holding street concerts in the busiest part of Seoul. there's something I can do for my home country. Despite the freezing weather, a large crowd gathered, drawn to the sound of K-pop. theater in Korea, I think one thing that inspired me is K-pop. That's the, I think that's the, the time that I, I decided that I want to go to Korea, I want to pursue my studies here, because not just for the studies, but also to experience, to live here and to experience the culture, how flourishing the culture is. I've been very um, interested with with the culture of Korea. It was, it was just so fascinating, like even the how they created the Hangugo or the Korean language. It was, it was very like unique. So I think K-pop actually influenced me 
a lot during those times in the Philippines. I came to love K-pop and Korean dramas while studying communication art in the Philippines. Then in 2005, I received an art scholarship from the Ministry of Culture and Tourism of Korea and studied theater directing at the Korea National University of Arts. Daehungno is a special place that motivated me to pursue my dreams. This is the mecca of performing arts in Korea and the old home of Seoul National University. When the university moved out, Marinier Park was created in its place and it became a new home for organizations specializing in theater, film, concerts, and musicals. Today, the neighborhood has about 150 small theaters clustered together. Visitors can see performances all year round, including musicals, plays, and traditional Korean music concerts. But I really love the area around Heihua, actually, that they have here. It's very scenic and romantic, and uh, very nice place. There's much culture, much energy. Yeah. Korean Broadway. Like, the, the Broadway of Korea. So you can see, like, a lot of, like, theaters. Oh, look over there. What's that? What? Uh, uh, yeah, it's in Korean, sorry. Kim, but it says Kim, Kim Jong-uk Chakki, like, finding Kim Jong-uk. It was Kim Jong. Yeah, it's a it's a musical. It's also like it's also a um, Korean musical. So that's the first musical that I saw in Korea. So that's very memorable for me because yeah, it's it, it's really good. Like I don't even know how to speak Korean, but I understand everything. Wow. It's like wow, wow. So that's the time like that's the time I I really like told myself I would make something like that. I am a director, a directing major, so so I I always direct. I don't really act, but um, whenever I watch musicals, I I hope I, I have this desire. The desire in me, you know, like burns up again, and I I feel like I want to be there. I don't want to be, you know, sitting and watching them. I want to be there and be watched by these people. I want to be the one. Think, looking at their faces and looking at their reactions if they if they are you know like feeling what I feel on that stage <laughs> to be an acknowledged actress in Korea I must become more Korean than Koreans themselves that's why I'm always around day hung no even when I'm not performing I want to observe and learn more about Koreans the hiking trail here colored with pretty autumn leaves leads to Nuxan Park can we do something like a it's fun just to hang out with my friends, but today we're here for a particular reason. <laughs> Sometimes, when I feel like giving up, I come up here and look down at Daehangno. I tell myself, I really want to act. My passion for my dream has brought me here. Naksan Park reaffirms that passion. This park, she was the one who suggested to come here, so she said, it's a totally different place. You have to see this part. It's not Seoul if you don't come here. Get set, ready, go! My Filipino friends like K-pop as well. They know the latest songs and even the choreography. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> this is Ihua Village famous for its murals that were painted as part of a public art project seven years ago. Oh my gosh! So nice! Let's oh, take a fishy, fishy. Let's go! Have you been to the mural village uh, around Taehangno area? Uh, well, one of my colleagues used to say, Penny is here since the foundation of Korea. Uh, I've been there, but at that time, it was not like that. Uh -huh. Okay. It's so it's, it changed a lot. Yeah, I like going there because it's uh, it gives me lots of uh, colorful inspiration. I can imagine. Yeah, and a great place to take photos with your friends. Yeah, too. definitely. Today, the village is popular among visitors, hoping to take some whimsical photos. Every day, the curtains go up for 70 to 80 performances in Daehangno. It takes so many hands, so much dedication, for a single performance to meet its audience. Still, many performances never make it to the stage 
because of budget or venue problems. One of my own performances was postponed during rehearsals. Oh, there you go. Okay, so actually he's the reason why I'm here. He's the sole reason why I want to watch this musical because actually he's, he, you know, I'm close to him. We practice together in another musical. So we rehearse together and yeah, he's actually a good actor. So yeah, I'm very excited to see him now in this other musical. It's an acoustic musical. So yeah, let's check it out. Let's check out how good this guy is. An actor I had worked with invited me to one of his musicals. So he's he's the guy, Park Jong Won. He's he's the man, and yeah, that's why that's why I'm here. So let's watch him later. What he's gonna do? I'm really excited. He's a very very funny man. 제가 좀 맞춰서 왔어요. 색깔 이거 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 좀 쓰세요. 이거 말. 좋아. 오케이. 오빠. 어 색깔 좋아. 네. 재밌게 보고. 네 알겠습니다. 오빠 화이팅이에요. 안녕하세요. Where the Wind Blows is a jukebox musical, like a Korean version of Mamma Mia. It's based on songs by the poetic Korean singer-songwriter Kim Kwonsa. In Daehangno small theaters, the audience sits close to the stage. The actors can see everyone's expression as they perform. Actors on stage and the audience in the seats make a performance complete. That's what made me decide to become an actress in Korea. to myself. Good performances always touch me to the heart and make the music linger. There's a lot of good food in Daehangno, but today my friends came to have duck ball with me. Um, this is actually takbal. Um, we call it takbal in Korean and it's chicken feet. So, um, a lot of foreigners don't actually want to eat the chicken feet, but in Korea, it's a it's a very good delicacy, and you should try it. This one is a bit spicy for foreigners, but actually, if you put the the bean sprout, whatever um, there is, yes, this water here, then it becomes a bit um, not as spicy as the the usual ones. I really love takpa. I really love the chicken feet. So. I know. I mean, I think it's a good, it's a good thing for you to watch a musical or watch a play, and then you eat this right after. And I think you would have a good time, especially here in Dahangno. It's hard living abroad, away from family and friends. But I'm lucky to have so many good people by my side. They treat me not as a foreigner, but as an actress, a colleague, and a friend. 
그전엔 배우인 줄도 모르고 아 외국인이 그 배우하고 싶다 그래가지고 하는가 보다 그렇게 생각으로 봤는데 아 잘하는 거예요 연기를 근데 아리랑 판타지 때 제가 봤던 연기랑 또 저희가 연습했을 때그 플라이보이 연습할 때또 연기는 180도로 틀렸어요 Soon, I'll stand on stage under the spotlight and meet the audience. I'm Cherish Maningat, a musical actress in Korea. Wow, you know, Daehangno is the most sought place for lots of college students in Seoul. Yeah. And it has a long history of culture, arts, tradition. And what I love about uh, Daehangno is that there are lots of theaters. Mm. And I've also watched one theater work there and I had so much fun because it's a very intimate setting and you get to see the facial expressions and every breath of the actor, you can hear it. Sure. You've been to Daehangno as well, right? Well, I've, I've been to Daehangno many, many times. Uh, the funny thing is all these small theaters at that time, they weren't there. There were a few, but not that many as there are now. I haven't been inside one of those theaters yet, but <laughs> I can relate to what you say. If, if it's a small, I've done that in Holland a few times. Mm. If you go to these small theaters, yeah, you f can feel the actors. You can relate right. to the actors. It's it's fun to do. Yeah. Daehangro is a cultural melting pot and a place with all sorts of wonderful areas to explore, including the mural village we saw and so much more. So let's check out today's travel tips to show you how you can best enjoy Korea's performing arts. Of the many performing arts festivals held all over Korea, here are some that are renowned for their excellent programs and rich repertoires. These are Saini's recommended Korean performing arts festivals. The first is the Kochang International Festival of Theatre. It features performances from Korea and all around the world. There are a variety of genres, from plays to musicals, but the most attractive thing about the Kochang International Festival of Theatre is that the performances are given on a stage on water in a cool valley in the middle of the summer. You can watch the performances while perched on rocks or in floating tubes. For the evening performances, there are candles floating on water and romantic outdoor lights. In May, Chuncheon in Gangwon-do becomes one big party thanks to the MIME Festival, where everyone is communicating with their bodies rather than words. The Nanjang, an open stage where actors interact with the audience, opens up on the riverside and invites MIME troops from various countries to share their performances. The Chuncheon Mime Festival is made more exciting by a street parade and hands-on programs for visitors. Put this festival on the bucket list if you're in Korea in the spring. And in Daehangro, every year there's a small theater festival called Di Festa where you can see all sorts of great performances. Now, Professor, these days I have a question for you. Are you still getting a lot of casting calls and offers for work as an actor? Well, at the moment, actually, I do. Great. Uh, it, it, it has been quiet for a while. But that's acting because sometimes you have a, a great amount of uh, jobs coming up and sometimes there's nothing. And for the last maybe one and a half year, I haven't done very much. Mm. Uh, I think Chaka Namja was the last one. And then for a long time, nothing. And now some, suddenly uh, other things come up again. So, yeah, yeah it's happening. I think casting offers, you know, getting them, it's probably the most terrifying aspect of uh, being an actor because if you don't get them, you know, regularly, you start feeling that uh, anxiety. And right. Cherish says that she is experiencing that as well daily. Yeah, well, lucky for her, though, she has a very strong supporter and fan who's always there behind her. And they're going on a healing journey together. So why don't we join along with them? Daegu is the central city in southeast Korea, about 300 kilometers from Seoul. Daehangno is where my dream began, but Daegu is where it's headed. The first reason that Daegu is special to me is that it's home to the most warm-hearted person I've met in Korea, the person I always want to meet. Um, the choreographer 
of um, Arena Fantasy, so, so she made all the, the dances and stuff. And besides that, she's not just a, a teacher in the dances, but she's also a teacher in life. Like she's like, um, she always um, lifts me up whenever I feel down, whenever I feel difficulties, I always remember her and she's actually like uh, very close to my heart. So whenever I remember Degu, whenever I think of Degu, I think of her. <laughs> <laughs>。我们的朋友们的全部的人们。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。对。
심심하게 나왔다 체리 씨. 지금 보면 좀 섹시한 거 같은데. 심심하게 나왔다. 여기 이제 다들 어 누구니? 뭐야? <웃음> 누구니? 준아 이모 어디 있어? 여기서 찾아볼까? 찾아보세요. 이모 어디 있어? He can't find me. Do I look that different when I'm on stage? I used to see my teacher only in theaters and studios. Here in her home, with her family, she makes me feel as though Daegu is my hometown in Korea. Faith brought me the musical, Arirang Fantasy, right when I was ready to leave for the U.S., tired of being turned away at auditions. It was my first time working with Koreans, touring all over the country. Over the two years, I saw so many places, met so many people. Daegu is considered Korea's new city of musical theater. The Daegu Opera House, which opened its doors in 2003, is Korea's first theater exclusively for operas. The theater features a variety of repertoire from operas to ballets and musicals to popularize operas. And this was where I had my biggest performance. So many emotions rushed through me, here again with my teacher. The stage always looks a little lonely before a performance. The actor's dedication on stage, the applause from the audience, the theater only feels alive when performers and the audience come together to laugh and cry as one. I feel excited. The familiar air takes me back to the day I stood on this stage a place very close to my heart because I performed here last year um, when I was still doing Arirang Fantasy uh, musical. And yeah, I have a lot of good experiences here. Will I get to perform again? What I would give to sing and dance on this stage again. I promised myself that I would become a musical diva in Korea and stand here once again. <laughs> There's this like um part in the play where I have to be in the Jungkook Nori Jarang or the, the the national singing contest. So in there, um I perform Chang Yu Jung's um Omona. So, I, but it's like um. Like, I have to be cute, but I'm not, I, I, I'm not that cute, but I have to get cute. At the time of the performance, I was the only non-Korean in the cast, and I didn't speak the language very well. There was little I knew about Korea's theater arts industry, so it was hard to adjust. But every time I stood on stage, I felt alive. I was thankful then, and I'm still thankful now to my teacher. I'd been feeling down these days because my performance had to be postponed, but coming to Daegu to see her and to stand on the best stage of my life has given me the strength to push on with my dream. She takes me to a church, telling me that she has a special gift for me there. <laughs> Thank you.
My fans are here? Who could they be? I'm nervous, like when I'm about to go on stage. This is a big surprise. Sometimes, children from multicultural families participated in the finale of Arirang Fantasy. The children who joined me in the 2012 performance later went on to create their own children's choir. The kids who surprised me when we were rehearsing together are now dreaming of becoming actors. They've surprised me again. surprise. I mean, I didn't know that she would bring me here. I was actually asking her, why are you bringing me to a church? Yeah, I was really surprised to see the kids in here. And it's, it's actually like at late at night right now. It's, it's, it's very late and they're still here. And they're waiting and, and you know, and singing, seeing them and performing with them again, the, the song that we performed before. It's like, it's like deja vu. Like, oh, I've seen this before. Oh, I've seen these kids before. All their smiles and all you know, their energy on the stage. Yeah, I now I remember everything, and I'm really thankful to to our to my teacher that she, you know she brought me here, and it makes it makes my heart you know like really I'm really flattered. I'm really I'm really happy and glad that you know. The next morning, my teacher took me to a famous place in Daegu. Hogong Sun Mountain. She said I had to see Daegu from a vantage point of 820 meters above sea level in a six person cable car. <laughs> Wow. Oh, you put on. It was scary at first, but soon, the wonder of the natural scenery below me, the fresh air of the forest, uplifted my spirits. They say Palgongsan Mountain looks like a phoenix spreading its wings and taking flight. From the top, there's a panorama view of Daegu. Palgongsan Mountain is a huge mountain spanning Daegu, Chilgok, and Yongcheon. Scores of people come here, especially to make a wish to the famous Skapawi Rock. Oh, 
드리는 거예요. 소원. 소원? 음. 음. 지금 체리가 이루고 싶은 소원을 생각을 하고 그 다음 동전을 던져서 여기 물 속에 동전이 들어가면서 소원이 이루어지는 거예요. 어. 한번 해볼래? 네. 실패한 음. 사람 많네요. <웃음> 어. 오케이. 오케이. 난. 생각을 하고. 오케이. 오케이. 준비. 아, 너 어떡하지? <웃음> 아, 한꺼번에. 한 번에. 예! 아, 예! 아, 이어지는 거예요? 그럼! 예! 아이 made a heartfelt wish that I would become a musical diva in Korea and be able to sing and dance my teacher's choreography at the opera house. Very refreshing. <laughs> Cold, but yeah, it's nice. Like the the place is nice. The environment, like the 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 air, is also crisp and cold. But it's very refreshing. It's like it's like healing for me. Yeah. The support of my fans, the encouragement of my teacher, and the fresh air of Daegu's Palgongsan Mountain. All tell me that my wish will come true. Surrounded by mountains, Daegu is home to many great resorts. Spa Valley is located in Gachangmyeon, Dalsangun. It is a water park complex encompassing a forest and hot springs. 제가 공연적으로 이렇게 여러 지방을 많이 다녔지만 실제적으로 공연 이외의 관광이나 휴식은 크게 없었거든요. 그래서 대구에 왔었을 때는 체리 씨가 이제 공연적인 거, 일적인 것보다는 좀더 따뜻한 마음을 더 가질 수 있도록 그래서 더쉴수 있도록 힐링할 수 있도록 그래서 마음의 여유를 찾을 수 있도록 The water parks here can be enjoyed all year round, outdoors in the summer, indoors in the winter. Being from the Philippines, I had trouble adjusting to the cold winter in Korea. I was thankful for my teacher's thoughtful gift. I forgot about the cold and enjoyed the warmth and the pool with my teacher. Oh, they got a water slide. Ooh, Sweet. That's the fun part. Yeah, I love water slides. Ooh. I haven't been on one since I was young. I gotta, I gotta yeah? fix that. Oh, come on. Oh, I've... Wait till you have kids, because then you go again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a kid at heart, so... Oh. <laughs> Keep it that way. Actually, I didn't know what the itinerary is for, for my two days of stay here, and she actually brought me to all the places I wanted to go. I received healing, and I had a lot of fun, I ate really nice food, and now I'm, I'm in this kind of place. We also tried the, the onsen or the sauna outside, it was really nice, it was really hot and cold at the same time. So I'm really thankful that she, you know, she invited me here and she um, actually like made me relax and enjoy my stay here in Daegu. And I think Daegu would be like really more closer to my heart right now. And yeah, I, I think I would come here often after this. This is a traditional Korean medicine tub. Inside your body is hot, but your head cool. It's an interesting new experience. At night, a festival of lights and nature begins. Colorful rays of light and a visual art show. Fairies, animals and flowers all dance together. <laughs> what if this were all a big stage? I can't help thinking of stage lights when I see these lights. A place where the lights come on and the eyes of the audience are glued to my every move. 
a place alive with song and dance. My life belongs on the stage. So actually this is one of the reasons why I wanted to see her here like on purpose, like not not because of work, but just you know, just tour around and and talk and pour my heart out and yes. I, I, I was actually healed, you know, by coming here because she, she's there again. You know, I'm your number one fan. I believe in you, so you can do it. You, you can go out there and audition again and blah, 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 blah. And she, she has been telling me a lot of positive things for, you know, the past, uh, for the two days that I'm here in Daegu. So I feel so healed and happy. And I, I think I will go back to Seoul with a, with a happy, warm heart, you know, and I will endure the winter days to come. It looks like Cherish indeed had an amazing healing trip that she's been needing. Yeah, Daegu looked wonderful. Yeah, and I think it makes you such a lucky person when you have a mentor like that, you Absolutely. know, who, who really cares for you and they do seem to have such a lovely time together. What did you think of their trip? Well, I was quite impressed by the way everything went, especially Daegu. I've been there before, but mm -hmm. that was a whole new side of it I hadn't seen with yeah. the healing spa, how it lit up in the nighttime. Really a beautiful place. It makes me want to go visit it again. Yeah. Right. What did you think of Cherish's trip? Well, I think it's been very good for her. I mean, as she said at the end of herself, uh, it's a good healing trip. It mm -hmm. uh, made me feel refreshed or something like that again. Yeah. Uh, very good. And it was also uh, quite interesting to see how Cherish was so surprised and excited when she saw her fans, right. little kids. Yeah, it was really great to see Cherish with all of her young fans. She was so surprised. A really magical moment. Uh -huh. And speaking of fans, uh, Professor, do you have any fans or who is your number one fan? Could it be your wife, perhaps? Uh, probably my wife is the <laughs> number one fan, but uh, I seem to have uh, a fan club. I, I didn't know that, but somebody told me there is a wow. fan club somewhere on the uh, internet. Well, I think we should all sign up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my number one fan probably is also my mom because she monitors all the programs that I'm doing. So the you know power of family, having that family member, that's so important. Absolutely. You know, my, my number one Twitter follower is my mom. Oh, really? She's always <laughs> tweeting me back. Honey, that show was so great. So, awesome. Yeah, she supports me too. <laughs> you know, Terry, she was ex experiencing all these anxiety as... Um, you know, as she's developing her career as a musical actress, but she seems to have that uh, healing moments through this trip. What kind of words of wisdom you could maybe give to Cherish? Well, maybe she should remember that many famous people never gave up. People like uh, Sylvester Stallone as an actor. I mean, he was rejected for a thousand times mm -hmm. with Rocky, but at the end, he got it for a very cheap price, but with the uh, condition that he would get some money from the revenues and he became almost rich with it. Uh, Marilyn Monroe, that's another example. On her first audition they told her she should become uh, something else. But she became Marilyn Monroe. Yes, that is the key. Persistence and hard work pay off. It's all the time we have today here on Travel Story. And I hope that you too will follow your dream to the end and just maybe it'll happen right here in Korea. If you have any comments or questions about our show, please share them with us on Arirang TV's website on our webpage. Thank you for joining us and have a great day. See you next time. Bye. Bye.